All right, welcome back. So this is part two of this the video I did, the worst short that I've um, come across. And uh, honestly, what made it such a bad job was this access here, the roof access. As you can see, it's a pretty dangerous access. You see the ladders on the opposite side. Uh, so you have to actually reach over to the ladder in order to actually um, get up and down. It actually looks, it doesn't look as bad in the video as it actually feels in real life. I mean, I'm sure you guys, you know, familiar with this kind of stuff would be able to imagine. So also needed a six foot ladder just to access this ladder. And then on top of that, I had to go back and forth to the apartment. The apartment actually had stairs. So I had to carry the six foot ladder, uh, as you can see here shortly. So yeah, you will be seeing, you know, all the different shorts I found. Everything except for the thermostat wire being melted was the, I think, prime suspect. So there's my six foot ladder. I had to carry that to the apartment back and forth. And uh, I had to do this at least 15, 20 times, mind you, as I'm trying to find this short. I had to carry the ladder uh, through the apartment, up this flight of stairs here, because the zone board was up, pretty much um, hung from the uh, hung from the ceiling on top of the ductwork. So uh, in order to diagnose the short, I actually was having to go back and forth, at least, like I said, 15, 20 times from the rooftop to this point here. And yeah, it got pretty exhausting. Jordan actually had to wind up calling some uh, help in and um, we actually wound up getting it. It still took us about six hours for the both of us, but at least one guy was able to spot from the roof and uh, you know, spot while I was actually tracing the shorts. So it worked out, but yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Seems to be it. Fired up. All right, so after blowing another transformer, found the issue here. And um, let's see here. Heat strips basically came, came just undone from the, uh, basically heat strips burnt up. No big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and get these things um, swapped out. We'll see what the customer wants to do. And uh, we'll see what that does with it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and pop the breaker in. See what we got here. So yep, we're shorting. We got a short. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with. Let's take a look down in here. See if we can uh, look at our pressure switches and inspect those real quick. Let's see pressure switch. Ah, you see that there? Let me pull this real quick. I think I feel like I see a wire looks burnt to that liquid line. One sec. Yeah, it's simply it's overheated on that wire. So we can find that out simply by making sure it's not touching there. Go ahead and plug it in. See if we still have a short. You gotta be kidding me. 
Nothing worse than a multiple position short. We got shorting out multiple places now. Okay. Let me put this camera away because it's raining out here. I'm gonna find the short. All right, so I finally got around to the issue, man. I don't know, this thing is very elusive. It actually wound up being this reversing valve. Um, the reversing valve, the windings are pretty much shorted out. So that's a reversing valve coil, essentially. So hopefully they might have one of those in stock. But as you can see, I unplugged this. Well, it's plugged in now. Go ahead and check voltage. Got our short still. Now when I unplug, it's the reversing valve. Looks good. No, sh no short. And also I just checked the resistance on the windings here. Go across both. First check each terminal of the ground. Open, that's good. Both of them open, now check the resistance. 0.3 ohms of resistance. So I'm guessing that's two little ohms. Uh, I'm not sure what the winding what the resistance usually would be, but that's what it's looking like it is. It's crazy, man. Yeah, I guess it was a pretty bad short. Took out a whole lot on the circuit. So, once again, letting the customer know. Well, I guess I ought to try to swap it out first. I'm sure it should be at least 12 ohms of resistance on that thing 10 to 12 ohms it's nothing more than a relay so uh, essentially shouldn't be any less than a contact or anything like that so get this all disconnected put it back on though because I got that short rectified up there so more than likely what happened is that short there killed the board uh, Essentially, the short that was on um, on that suction uh, on the um, the vape the discharge vapor line. So it's not been looking good. This is actually a 22 year old unit, so it's uh he's holding on to it. The um, owner here. This is not so much. Replacing it, gotta have it craned up here, and it's a pretty big deal to have this thing uh, uh, shut down the whole street and everything. It's a pretty popular street out here, so I guess it's uh, quite an expense. But yeah, so the board is the issue, or the third issue. So what we're gonna wind up doing now? I guess I gotta contact the. Homer once again and get this get an approval for a board. So far transformers, two transformers, board. And the zone system as well got fried from it, so and that's pretty much pretty much it. I don't see anything devastating on the traces, but just this spot here looks pretty bad. Looks like it's smoked out. So, I think that's the ticket. Got the replacement board here. So we're gonna wind up doing is just smacking that in there. Oh yeah, this one even comes with a fuse. Sad, it looks like this one actually had a spot for a fuse, but I guess they figured they didn't need to put one in there which killed the board but they got the updated model with a nice fuse circuit 
we've got a short in the R wire somewhere. Crazy. Let's see if there's any way to find that. Let's see if there's any other wire I can change it to. R C black. No. Black might be getting used. Well. Black's not being used up here. Let's see what black is doing. Let's do that. Black is good. Let's go ahead and use black in the meantime. Nice. No shorts. What am I going to do now? finish wiring that up. Looking good. So now I just go down there and um, get my zone board back buttoned up. We should be good to go. It ran, but the voltage just, it was um, only getting like 12 volts. There was basically a short to ground, it only getting like 12 volts between the cabinet and, you know, the hot wire. I actually wound up finding the short was basically the whole thermostat wire was shorted. The, the installer ran conduit behind the plenum, well, back behind the plenum on the package unit, and it was within inches of the heat strips. So that basically melted the wire into just one big wire. The outside was still intact but it fused two thermostats wires together and they were just all solid uh, one wire so there was a pretty bad short there hindsight i wish i would have checked the thermostat wire first but either way it would have been in the same boat because there was all sorts of other shorts that actually uh, derived from that issue so essentially yeah this was a definitely a good learning lesson so why it's bittersweet calls like this because you hate to do them but you definitely uh, appreciate what you learned from it. So hopefully um, you guys enjoy it and get, you know, learn something from it. Sorry I wasn't able to show the um, thermostat wire, but had the other guy help me. I didn't want to be recording. Plus, honestly, I was tired. Uh, this is real life. This isn't just I'm not here performing. So essentially, you don't always feel like rolling a camera and doing all it takes to video as well after going back and forth up and down that ladder and access, you know, a dozen times. So hopefully you understand, but, you know, like I say, it was definitely pretty interesting. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.